Hello friends, this video on matrices part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. One more example, we have to even a square is equal to k minus 2i and we have to find the value of k. So very simple, looks like here also we define a square first. So if you have a square, then we will have equations a square is equal to k minus 2i, we can perform normal subtraction and addition. You get two equations actually on left hand side and right hand side and we can get the value of k. So let's do this actually. So let's find a square first. a square is nothing but a into a. That is nothing but 3 minus 2, 4 minus 2 into 3 minus 2, 4 minus 2. So let's first find multiplication possible or not. This guy is 2 cross 2, this guy is 2 cross 2. 2, 2 matches, yes, multiplication possible. The final will be 2 cross 2 because this is 2 here and this is 2 here. So the final will be something like this 2 cross 2. So again, we'll take the horizontal, this row of this and column of this. The first element will be first row, first column. 3 into 3, 9 plus minus 2 into 4, that is minus 8. The second guy will be first row, second column, that is 3 into 2, minus 6 plus minus 2 into minus 2 that is 4. Third guy will be second row first column because this is 8 to 1. 4 into 3 12 plus minus 2 into 4 that is minus 8. This guy will become second row second column. 4 into 2 minus 8 and minus 2 into minus 2 that is plus 4. So what I get here is 1, minus 2, 4 and minus 4. This is my a square. So I have been told that a square is equal to k a plus 2i or I get minus 2i sorry. Or I can say that k a is nothing but a square plus 2i. So let's find a square plus 2i first. So with that we'll have one equation here, one, one matrix here, one matrix here. We can compare and find the value of k. So let's find a or we can get k a is equal to a square plus 2i. Correct. So I can say that RHS is equal to, I'll find RHS is nothing but a square that is 1 minus 2, 4 minus 4 plus 2i. i will be this guy, this is nothing but 1, 4, minus 2, 4. We will multiply 2 with this number, so you get 2, 0, 0, 2. So finally, if you add these, you get what? 1 plus 2 is 3, minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2, 4 plus 0 is 4, and 4 plus 2 is 6. This is my RHS. Correct? Sorry, 4 plus 0 is this guy is 4, and 4 plus 2 is 6. This guy is my RHS. Now I have been told that k into a that is 3 minus 2, 4 and this guy is equal to 3, this guy is minus 4 actually, what is minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So I have been told that this guy is nothing but 3 minus 2, 4 minus 2. So we compare these two equations, we can say that k is nothing but 1 because 1 into this guy will become this only. So comparing this to I get k is equal to 1 and that is my answer. So what we have done, we knew that we have to find a square, so we just found a square and then we took k on one side, so we got this equation because we wanted to compare in this fashion. So I got k into a is 1 matrix and the value was 3 minus 2, 4 minus 2. Comparing this to we found that k is equal to 1. Let's take one more example. It's told that there is a matrix A that is equal to 0, minus 10, alpha by 2, 10, alpha by 2 and 0 and we have to prove that I plus alpha A is equal to I minus A into cos alpha minus sin alpha, sin alpha and cos alpha. So here we just we have to prove that left hand side is equal to our right hand side. So LHS if you see is nothing but I plus A and what will be a value of i? i will be 2 cross 2 matrix because we are adding an a is 2 cross 2 matrix. So this is i and this is a. 
a we know is 0 minus tan alpha by 2 tan alpha by 2 is 1 so if we add these i plus a becomes 1 plus 0 is 1 0 minus tan alpha by 2 becomes minus tan alpha by 2 0 plus tan alpha by 2 becomes tan alpha by 2 and 0 plus 1 becomes 1 so this is my LHS I have to prove my RHS is also equal to this so let's try to simplify RHS so RHS if I take it is nothing but I minus alpha into cos alpha sin alpha sin alpha cos alpha so this is nothing but I we know is nothing but 1 0 0 1 2 cross 2 y because my A matrix is a 2 cross 2 matrix and this is my A matrix because A is this guy given so you have to first subtract this and then you have to multiply this by cos alpha minus sin alpha sin alpha cos alpha this matrix so 1 minus alpha is nothing but this I just write here 1 minus 0 is 1 0 minus minus tan alpha is plus tan alpha by 2 actually 0 minus tan alpha by 2 is minus tan alpha by 2 and 1 minus 0 is 1 so this matrix has to be multiplied with cos alpha minus sin alpha sin alpha and cos so that is our task actually so let's do the multiplication so if you multiply this you take this guy horizontal first and vertical next and multiply and add that's how you do so this becomes 1 into cos alpha that is cos alpha plus tan alpha by 2 into sin alpha tan alpha by 2 into sin alpha, first element second element you take first row and second column so this becomes 1 into minus sin alpha it's minus sin alpha plus tan alpha by 2 into cos alpha tan alpha by 2 into cos alpha then we have to take this guy second row first column that is minus tan alpha by 2 into cos alpha plus 1 into sin alpha that is sin alpha this element is minus tan alpha by 2 into minus sin alpha that is plus tan alpha by 2 into sin alpha because minus minus cancel and this is 1 into cos alpha plus so this is my matrix I have to just simplify this if I can simplify this and I can prove that this is almost equal to this my work is done now first thing you have to observe is some values are in alpha some is alpha by 2 so let's convert everything into alpha by 2 form and the formula we know that cos alpha is nothing but 1 minus sin square alpha by 2 this formula correct and sin alpha is nothing but 2 sin alpha by 2 in cos alpha by 2 this formula we know because we can say sin alpha is nothing but 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 and this guy is 1 minus sin square alpha by 2 so it's 1 minus 2 sin square alpha by 2. Why? Because it is cos square alpha by 2 minus sin square alpha by 2 actually. Cos alpha is nothing but cos square alpha by 2 minus sin square alpha by 2. You know why? Because cos alpha is nothing but cos alpha by 2 plus alpha by 2. So that is become cos alpha by 2 into cos alpha by 2 minus sin alpha by 2 into sin alpha by 2. And this is nothing but 1 minus 2 sin square alpha by 2 again. Right? Now and why I'm doing this because I want to get one and I want to get rid of everything. So I just simplify this cos alpha I can write as 1 minus sin square alpha by 2. Why not cos square minus sin square? Because this guy, I know that this guy is nothing but 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2. 
And if I multiply this, I'll get two sine square alpha by two actually this one. This whole thing. And I want to get one here because my answer says this should be one here. So this that's why I write cos alpha is one minus two sine square alpha by two plus tan alpha by two is nothing but sine alpha by two by cos alpha by two and sine alpha is nothing but two sine alpha by two cos alpha by two. Correct. So with this, this gets cancelled. I get two sine square alpha by two here and plus two sine square min I mean minus sine square alpha by two plus two sine square alpha by two. So this guy this guy also gets cancelled. So I get one here. Similarly, this one I have to prove somehow has to be minus tan alpha by 2. So let's try to do this also. Minus sin alpha, I know sin alpha is nothing but this guy 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2. So let me write this, this is nothing but 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2. Let's see what can be done here. Plus, now if you see it's tan alpha and cos alpha is nothing but I can write as 1 minus 2 sin square alpha by 2 also or I can write as cos square minus sin square alpha by 2 also or I can write as 2 cos square alpha by 2 minus 1 also anything is possible now we have to decide what we have to write here we have to somehow make it minus tan alpha by 2 so if you write as 2 cos square alpha by 2 minus 1 then I can get this minus tan alpha by 2 I can show you how I can write cos alpha is 2 cos square alpha by 2 minus 1 and this into tan alpha by 2. So this becomes if you see 2 cos square alpha by 2 into tan alpha by 2 minus tan alpha by 2. Correct? I will solve this, right, this piece somewhere and show you. I don't have space so let me write here actually. So 2 cos square alpha by 2 into tan alpha by 2 is nothing but 2 cos square alpha by 2 into tan alpha by 2 is nothing but sin alpha by 2 by cos alpha by 2. Cos alpha by 2 and cos square alpha by 2 cancel, this becomes cos alpha by 2. So this becomes 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2. Correct? And 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 minus 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 cancel this. So this and this guy is cancelled. So what I get is minus tan alpha by 2 only. So this part also I got. Now this part also has to be tan alpha by 2. Now, so let me again see what we can do here. This is almost same as this guy, correct? Except the minus sign. So I can directly write this as tan alpha by 2 only, directly, instead of wasting my time here. Why? Because we have done this just now. Because this guy is minus tan alpha by 2 and this guy is minus of this. So this becomes tan alpha by 2 directly. Now this guy tan alpha by 2 into sin alpha, so tan alpha by this guy and this guy is same actually you see. So I can write this as 1, correct, both are same, we just solved it, this guy is 1, same, this guy is minus of this. So this guy is 1 and this guy is tan alpha by 2. So I have proved that this thing is nothing but 1 minus tan alpha by 2 tan alpha by 2 and 1. So I have proved that RHS is equal to LHS. Hence I have proved this equation. So what I have done here, it is a little complex here. The trigonometry concepts are required. If you don't know trigonometry, well, please watch my trigonometry videos. You can get your concepts a little more clear and there you have memory tips also. With that you can learn this pretty simple because uh, we have some tips or cos a plus b, cos a minus b, sin a plus b, those formulas are used here. So you should have a good understanding of trigonometry to solve these questions. So here is nothing but a question that comes by mixing trigonometry with matrices. And for this you should have a good understanding of trigonometry as well. If you don't know trigonometry much, please watch my trigonometry videos. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.